Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Nerd Analytics. This is a series of lectures uh, regarding molecular modeling and drug designing aspects. Since I'm a bioinformatician and I do mostly uh, work related to drug designing like uh, protein ligand interaction or molecular modeling of proteins, protein protein interactions, biological pathways. So this will be a series of lectures covering all the aspects of molecular modeling and drug designing as well as biological pathway uh, annotation as well. So coming back to the uh, the most important aspect of bioinformatics is drug designing. Since many new drugs have been developed and many new targets have been developed, the approach of drug designing is, uh, you know, utmost important. And uh, as a bioinformatician, we all should know how to do protein ligand interaction. There are many tutorials on, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, molecular docking using Vena, using MGL tools, but the basic uh, analysis how to represent and what are the tools that is required uh, to do a protein ligand interaction how to represent it those things we need to know so specifically coming to computational method uh, the methods uh, what type of software do you require and what are the analysis platform that you require so th those things i'm going to give you uh, an overview so for the molecular docking approach, you require MGL tools, which is free, and uh, Autodoc Vena, uh, the latest one, 1.2.2 version. For the analysis purposes, we need Chimera, Discovery Studio Visualizer, and Maestro. For the visualization purpose, we require Chimera X, BioRender, Keynote, and PowerPoint. For the 2D plots like ligand protein, protein interactions, we require LigPlot Plus DS Visualizer. And uh, the most and basic uh, annotation of protein and ligand preparation, uh, we require the libraries such as OpenBabel, MGL Tools, Miko, uh, Anaconda, uh, different Python libraries, Jupyter Notebook, etc. So if you don't know how to use MGL Tools, then you can use directly open Babel and uh, or vice versa if you are using MGL tools then you don't have to use open Babel if you are using open Babel then you don't have to use MGL tools so I'm going to uh, show uh, uh, these softwares uh, you know links and how to install them and what are the softwares that is that can be implemented on Mac uh, which are the softwares that is recommended for Windows those softwares I'm going to, you know, go through. Uh, per se, uh, Chimera. Chimera can be installed uh, in Windows and Mac as well, and Linux as well. But the Discovery Studio Visualizer is only available for Windows and Linux platforms. So those who are using Mac, they have to install a different software uh, to install Windows inside the Mac and run Discovery Studio Visualizer. So I'm going to go through all the softwares that is required for molecular docking and molecular modeling analysis so if we go the first and foremost software that is required is mgl tools so you go to the mgl tools website this is from scripts research institute uh, and go to the downloads and you will find the latest version of mgl tools which is available for windows this is for the Mac uh, this is a graphical user interface this uh, is what we require uh, right now uh, this one is uh, a tarball installer again uh, uh, this is also for the Mac and these are for the Linux so all three platforms have been uh, available for MGL tools uh, version so in this way you can uh, this software can help you for the protein and ligand preparation which I am going to show in my upcoming videos uh, as I told before that this is a series of videos that I'm going to explore for molecular modeling and uh, drug designing aspects the first one is MGL tools yeah this link th these links I'll be providing uh, in my YouTube uh, uh, channel uh, in the in the comments section okay the next software that is which is required uh, 
uh, for the molecular modeling and drug design in this chimera. So you write UCSF chimera. Okay, you go to the UCSF chimera homepage and you go to the download button. There uh, you have the Microsoft uh, Windows platform. That is 1.6 version, 1.6 version for Mac OS and Linux. So this is the next software that you require uh, for the visualization purpose and for the analysis purpose as well. The next software that is required is Chimera X. Chimera X. Uh, you go to the page and you go to the download, and there you have the latest version. Yes. The latest version is available for uh, I think for Mac OS so uh, it is also available for Windows I guess but uh, uh, since I'm using Mac I think it is showing only the Mac version okay the, the, the Chimera X version is 1.4 so this one you can uh, download and can be used for visualization purpose and interpretation uh, interpretation of different types of uh, uh, interactions like protein ligand interactions the protein the surface view I'll show in my uh, other series videos how to use Chimera X so this 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 software is very important so the next software that we require is discovery studio visualizer so if you go to the website, uh, this is from Biovia um, Discovery Studio Visualizer and you have to register uh, using your professional email, academic email and then uh, you have to accept the consent. Yes, uh, it is available for Windows and for the Linux platform. Uh, the Mac version of DS Visualizer is not available yet. So. <clears throat> You need to download for the uh, either for the Linux version, which which I recommend all the users to use Linux platform or Mac platform, and Windows people, I mean Windows users can also download the DS Visualizer client. The next software that we require is Maestro. Maestro, this is from Scrodinjo platform. We go to the Maestro Scott engine. Yeah, uh, there. Yeah, 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 From this website, you can download the Maestro Visualizer, and uh, I think uh, this is a very uh, good platform for analysis of protein and ligand, as you can see over here. You can also. This is a commercial software, of course, because if you want to install all the modules of Scott engine, then you require. Uh, commercial license for that but Maestro is free to use and you can see how you can visualize the protein ligand interactions mm, the hydropopic plot the hydrogen bonds uh, you know surface view etc so this is a very good software I would recommend uh, and yeah so the next software that you require is Pymol uh, Pymol can be uh, used this is uh, for the academic people I think the license uh, will be available can be available for any academic users which is free so I would recommend you all to install Pymol 2.5 version which is very good platform to analyze protein ligand interactions and to see uh, different types of uh, you know bonding patterns so this is available for Windows Mac OS and Linux so you can install it and another way to install um, Pymol uh, is by using Anaconda and this is the code that is required so if you guys know how to use Anaconda Anaconda is a uh, very good platform to install the softwares and uh, uh, it is helpful uh, to uh, you know retrieve all the packages and install on your local machine by using command line so uh, this is available for Windows, uh, Linux, uh, and I think uh, for Mac OS as well. Since I'm using Mac, it is showing me the Mac uh, OS version, which is uh, much more helpful 
to you know retrieve all the packages that is required for bioinformatics analysis for designing molecular modeling ngs and uh, you name it and you get it from anaconda so that much powerful it is so if you install this you will have the uh, option to install the jupyter notebook also uh, jupyter notebook because uh, not only the graphical user interface of uh, molecular talking platforms such as Veena or MGL tools uh, will be shown but also uh, there are Python script packages which can be implemented uh, for molecular docking approach which I'm going to show uh, later so Jupyter, uh, Jupyter notebook is uh, you know pre uh, when you install Anaconda you will get Jupyter notebook automatically and I'll make another video how to uh, install the Anaconda platform and how to use Jupyter Notebook and all the different packages, what are the command lines, those things mm, I'm going to show in my next video. This is just a, just an overview of what are the softwares that you require. And another important thing is Miko. I, uh, I told you to use Miko for the protein and ligand preparation. So Miko is <clears throat> yeah uh, this is a python package uh, this can be installed by using pip install miko and uh, uh, this is also available from uh, anaconda package so you if you install anaconda then you can use this command to install uh, miko software and another software that i'm going to show is liquid plus this is again uh, a platform to show uh, protein and ligand interactions, their uh, bonding patterns, their hydrogen bonds, hydrophobic bonds, and the distance between the bonds, all those things can be easily deciphered by using this software. So this is, again, uh, if you go for the download version, then I think if you don't have a password, go to the academic license. So you have to, fill the form and wait for uh, I think one day maybe uh, you will get it on your academic email address in the zip file of the Liquid plus and you can uh, this is a jar file I think Java is required uh, so you can install that and you can uh, use it for uh, analyzing protein ligand interactions and uh, uh, let's see what else has been left off yeah another tool that is required is open babel i think open babel this can be <coughs> also downloaded from uh, uh, the source page i think this is available for windows linux and uh, linux and mac os platform so you can use and this is also available uh, from anaconda source library so you can install uh, by using anaconda so that's why i told you anaconda is one such platform that you get everything even autodoc bina mgl tools you name it and you get it from anaconda distribution so yeah let's move forward uh, yeah these python libraries have nothing but uh, these anaconda packages if you install python 3.0 uh, Python 3 version, then you get all the uh, library packages from uh, Anaconda uh, in order to do molecular modeling and molecular docking approach. So these are the softwares that you require and for, you know, for the better visualization for scientific publications, I recommend everyone to use BioRender. BioRender is one of the, uh, such an online platform in which you can design uh you know pathways and interpret uh, uh you know uh, present your analysis in a schematic form uh and uh, this is very helpful for uh, i think uh, for scientific publications if you uh, want to publish in high impact journals then this is this is the software that you require so i'm going to show you how i have used BioRender uh, and uh, all the uh, software platforms that have shown uh, to publish a paper 
in a high impact factor journal in which I published uh, a paper on COVID-19. So this is uh, from Science Advances uh, paper. And if you go below, you see these are the diagrams from BioVenda. And these are the diagrams. These are the surface maps from Chimera. And this is by using Keynote. This is again from uh, BioVenda. If you go to the second plot, this is uh, these are the, these uh, plots have been uh, uh, you know done by using Origin software. Origin is one of the uh, best software to uh, plot uh, different types of uh, you know uh, analysis, uh, some statistical uh, from statistical point of view, like box plot and uh, you know column view. Uh, those kind of plots you can plot using origin so th th these plots have been analyzed by using origin and again uh, these are the views uh, from chimera and chimera x so these are the protein ligand interaction uh, you know representations from uh, this is from chimera this is from chimera x i guess yes it's from chimera x and uh, yeah again this is from chimera x so in this way you can use uh, you know bio render platform and uh, different types of all other platforms uh, which i've shown here for drug designing approach and molecular modeling approaches so you can i'll i'll uh, give this paper uh, in the youtube comments you can in the, in the description I'll give all the links I'll give all the comments um, regarding this paper as well you can go through and please install all these softwares because these softwares are required for the drug designing analysis so uh, yeah and one more thing if you are a Mac user and uh, you don't have a Windows then you have to switch to another desktop or maybe you have to <clears throat> use bootcamp to install the windows so rather than that i recommend all of you to use parallel parallel uh, is a um, tool in which you can install windows 10 and linux inside your mac so that you don't have to you know switch switch it back and forth from uh, uh, windows to mac os using bootcamp or anything so just buy this software parallel for the student version as well and uh, you can use Windows Mac OS machine. So like I said before that Discovery Studio is only available uh, uh, in Windows platform. So uh, I can easily install the Discovery Studio Visualizer platform inside my Mac use it plus you can access all this and this and you see how easy it is if we use uh, for uh, mac os users you can install as well and uh, you can install uh, windows as well. and centos also is also uh, provided all the all the operating systems have been provided by that so go ahead and download this uh, particular tool. You, yeah. Plus, I can. Well, so version 17 is Mac. You can go ahead and install the student version or buy it and install on your Mac. So yeah, these are the songs, uh, you know that you require for. A successful drug designing approach or molecular docking DNA and I think uh, I hope uh, that in my all uh, other videos uh, that I'm going to present in this series of molecular modeling and drug designing I'm going to go through how to do protein ligand preparation and uh, molecular docking the analysis how to do the visualization how to use bio render for schematic representation all those things i'm going to show you in my next series of videos so thank you all
and please let me know what else you require and uh, what are the requirements for me to show you in order to uh, you know successfully uh, do this series of building and truck designing aspects what are the softwares that you require so just let me know in the comments and please like and subscribe to my channel thank you very much